This is fun. It's kind of like you and I are just sitting in my living room chatting, which is what's going on here. <laughs> we had a big snowstorm last night. I woke up, everything's white outside, and it's a jammy day. I think it's gonna stay a jammy day. So I thought, let's just chat. If you're new here, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. I usually don't come to you in my jammies from my living room, but you know, I kind of like this. Maybe we'll do it this way all the time. Today, I thought we would just catch up a little bit. I'll share with you what's going on in my life. I've got a few little things to talk about. I have a mini little Ulta haul, and so many of you have asked me to share my tips and tricks and experiences from my recent detox program, so we'll be going over all of that today. If you're new here, I'm so glad you stopped by. I hope you'll consider subscribing while you're here and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And look, there's gonna be a lot of furball in this because he just woke up from his like second morning nap and I'm sure he's gonna wanna be up here with me. Any products that I share today, and I don't know that there's going to be a lot, but I'll put everything linked and listed in the description box down below. So super easy for you to find. So what's been new with me? You know what I've been doing a lot lately is hiking. It has been so gloriously beautiful here in the last about week and a half to two weeks, warm and sunny and just so pretty. My favorite snow days are those really sunny, warm snow days where you're out snowshoeing or snow hiking and it's just lovely. I hiked actually three times last week up in the snow. The first time I was reconning a hike for my hiking club. You guys know I have a hiking club. <laughs> and I always like to go do the hike a few days before the actual scheduled hike just so I can make sure that the trail is still good, there's no issues with accessibility, and just to really familiarize myself with what's going to happen during the hike day so I'm not caught unawares or feeling like I don't know what's going on. So I went and reconned a snow hike on Wednesday with a girlfriend, and here was the thing. It's a little bit harder in the snow to determine the path of a hike because sometimes the snow hides the path and you don't really know where you're going and when we did Wednesday's hike I didn't really feel like I had a clear path all the way up the mountain we went up Chickadee Ridge if you're familiar with the area in Lake Tahoe it is a hike from Tahoe Meadows up to Chickadee Ridge and you get this panoramic view of Lake Tahoe it is so stunning and so beautiful. I'll tell you what, I never fail to just be amazed when I get up over the ridge and see the view, it's just stunning. So a girlfriend and I did that on Wednesday and I just didn't really feel like I had the path nailed down because of the snow. So I went and did it again by myself on Saturday and found the perfect path. It was so straight, so direct, just lovely. So I did it on Wednesday and Saturday and then I did it again on Sunday with the hiking group. We had such a good time. And the reason that it's named Chick Chickadee Ridge is because there are a lot of chickadees that live in the trees on the way up to the top of the ridge. And you can actually stand there with bird seed in your hand and the chickadees will come down and land in your hand. It is so magical and so fun. We actually got a lot of chickadees this particular hike. And I'll tell you, everyone was so tickled and so thrilled. So we did the chickadees. We continued up to the ridge, over the top into the views of Lake Tahoe, so spectacular. And then we just kind of hung out on the rocks and had a little picnic lunch and then headed back down. So that was super fun. And I'm glad that I got a lot of hiking in last week because now it's snowing. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the jammies. I am quite sure that I'll be in my jammies all day today, but don't tell anybody. Another question I've had recently from several of you is what am I crocheting these days? Here's my crocheting. <laughs> I have a yarn problem, and I'm not kidding you. I have a yarn problem. I've actually had to dedicate a particular area in one of my closets just for my yarn. If you are a yarn person, if you either knit or crochet, you'll know what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter how much yarn you have, you never have enough, and there's always room to buy more. Someone asked me what's on my crochet hook, and I'll tell you what, I'm not a fancy crocheter. For me, crochet is almost like meditation. I actually started crocheting a while back when I was going through a really, really tough 
personal time. And crocheting just really helped me to relax and kind of get in a meditative state and sort of soothe myself. And it's a habit that I've kind of continued with. So I am always crocheting something. If it's the evening time, I am crocheting. I'm either listening to a book on tape or watching a YouTube video or something like that and crocheting. So I just finished up a blanket for my daughter. She's actually going to be moving into a new place probably within a month and a half or so. She has moved from Northern California down to the Santa Barbara area in Southern California. So I crocheted her a blanket as a housewarming gift when she moves into her new place. Don't tell her. And right now I'm working on, this is just going to be a little throw for the bottom of the bed in my guest room. Just something easy and fun. And then also this, this yarn right here, I just ordered enough. This is Karen Velvet yarn. It's either the Velvet or Crushed Velvet. I'm not sure. I'm not a fancy crocheter. A lot of people crochet with the really beautiful expensive yarns. That's not me. I just sort of do it as something that just feels good and relaxes me. So this is my Karen Velvet. I ordered enough a couple of days ago. Go, I'm going to make a full blanket out of this one. And I think I'm going to give it away to one of you guys because if I give another crochet blanket to any of my friends or family, they're never going to take my calls again. It's like too much already. So I think I'm going to do this blanket and give it away to one of you guys if somebody wants it. I'll have to say I really don't mind when we get snow days because I personally love just staying home where it's cozy and warm and I've got the fireplace going and no stress and it's soft and it's just easy and gentle. I love these kind of days. So yesterday I did go out and did my shopping for the week. I did my grocery shopping and then of course I went by Ulta because why not? And I got just a little Ulta haul. I thought I would share with you guys what I picked up. So here's what amazes me when I go to Ulta. I mean, look at this bag. It's tiny. How can you fit $100 worth of stuff in a bag this tiny? I'll spend big money at Ulta and they hand me this tiny little bag and I just think... <laughs> This is crazy. So I'm really excited about the first thing I got. This is the new NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I have looked at this for a while now and I'll tell you what, I think this is the foundation I'm going to fall in love with. My favorite foundation, which is currently Forever Skin Glow from Dior, they've reformulated it and I'm kind of scared to try the new formulation. I don't know if I'm gonna like it as much, but I've been hearing a lot about this light reflecting foundation from NARS. I have never used a NARS foundation. I I think I'm gonna fall in love with this. I actually tested this in the store and boy, I think that this is gonna be a dead on color match for me. I got the light 2.5 in Yukon. So I'll be trying this in a get ready with me really soon. Then I drifted over to the more drugstore side of Ulta and went by the e.l.f. display and picked up two of these. These are the putty products from e.l.f. I'm really excited about these. This is the e.l.f. putty bronzer. I got it in the color tan lines, which I think was just a about the lightest color they had. And I also decided to pick up one of the blushes. This is a putty blush in Tahiti. So I'm really super excited about these. ELF does so many products really, really good. And of course they're so incredibly affordable. And I was so excited. I found the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil at Ulta. I have not seen these on the Ulta website in a while. I was so surprised to find it in store. So I went ahead and got the soft brown. I love this formula for doing the detail work on my brow, like pulling out the tail and just really defining the lines of my brow. This is such a good brow pencil at such a great price. I was also able to find one of the new colors from the Milani line of lipsticks. I love this line of lipsticks. This is not the matte version. This is more of a creamier version and this is in the color Role Play. Look at how pretty that is. I'm really excited to try that. These are more hydrating, of course, than the matte. So if you like a juicier lip, you might want to give these a try. Also, I am wearing my new plasma necklace. This was sent to me by Heather. She's the gal who does the plasma little water bottle tubes that you put around your water bottle to create a more structured water format. I had ordered from her Etsy website and I think that she recognized my name from the interview with Penny Kelly and went ahead and sent this necklace along with my order and oh my gosh, I love it. It is filled with plasma water and that plasma water has an energy signature that works with the energy signature of your body. And you know, we have a Taurus 
shaped energy signature around our physical bodies. And boy, can I feel the difference. You know, I am very sensitive to energy. Maybe you are too. If you are, put some comments down below about different experiences you've had with energy. Me, I can really feel energy in a lot of different ways. And maybe I'll talk more about that in a future video. I could tell the difference absolutely when I put this necklace on. And the way that you use this is to actually help adjust your own energy signature. It kind of creates a resonance between the plasma water and your own energy signature. So it's not something you wear all the time, but it just kind of gives your own energy a tune-up. And wow, I can really feel it. So if you're sensitive to energy, you'll probably love one of these. So many of you have messaged me and asked me to talk about my experiences with the detox that I just finished up. If you're not familiar with my channel or you're a little bit new or you've missed some of my recent videos you might not know, I recently launched probably around six or seven months ago on a Get My Body Healthy campaign because I had had such good luck with improving the skin on my face with at home, very, very affordable products and devices that I thought, what would happen if I put that much focus on my entire body? So that's what I launched into about six or seven months ago. And you know what? I've shared this before. I made exactly the same mistakes with this process as I did with my skin. When I first started on my anti-aging skincare routine for my face, I just went out and bought a whole bunch of products and started slathering them on my face, which is exactly what you don't want to do. What you want to do is get your face cleaned up first because those products are not going to be able to sink in through all those old dead skin cells and all the gunk that ends up on our faces over the years. We've got to clean that off first before we can really start adding new ingredients that will actually absorb into our skin. So I made the same mistake with my Get My Body Healthy routine. I just went out and bought a whole bunch of supplements and started shoving them down my throat. That's not how you want to do it. And you know what's funny is that now that I realize the right way to do it, it seems so obvious to me that I don't know why I didn't see that when I very first started. It's one of those goofy kind of things. You know, in our culture, often when we think I'm going to get Get healthy, we look at things like going to spin class more times a week, cutting out carbs, that sort of thing, without really looking at our body as this functioning system and what do we really need to do to get it in optimum health. So I've been working on that lately. I did make the mistakes in the beginning, but I'm getting better now. The resource that I've been using for my detox program, which I'm really working on now, is the book Getting Well Naturally from the Soil to the Stomach. This is written by Penny Callie. I actually interviewed Penny Kelly a couple of weeks ago. I'll go ahead and put her video up here in case you didn't see that. I love this book for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's written really well. I was a little concerned that I was gonna buy a book on nutrition that was gonna be so dry and I wasn't gonna be able to get through it and it was just gonna bore me to tears. It's written really well and that's not what happened at all. I really did enjoy reading this book. The second reason why I love this book so much is that it has a very effective, very affordable, very comprehensive detox program for your body. And you know, once I really got it in my head that detoxing my body was the most sensible way to start a get healthy program, I really couldn't figure out how I didn't understand that to begin with. Because when you think about it, imagine if you drove a car for 65 years, I'm 65 years old, and never cleaned it out. I mean, I don't even know why I didn't think about this sooner. But now I'm really on the program. I really get it. I really understand it. And I am so glad I found this book. I just recently finished up my first full round of Penny's detox program. And I'll tell you what, I am so impressed with the results. I can't believe the difference in my body. And I was trying to think of a way to describe it to you guys so that it would be something that you could really sort of get. And what I came up with was, it's like cleaning out your closet. I've had the kind of closet in my past, I don't have it now, <laughs> where it was just stuffed 
full of things. The floor was full with stuff. Hangers were crammed in together. Nothing was organized. And here was the deal. It still held all my clothes. It just didn't do it very efficiently. And it was a real hassle. And I would pull clothes out of there and they'd be all wrinkled and messy because they were all crammed in. And it was hard to walk around because there was stuff all over the floors and nothing was organized and it just felt icky going in there. Then when you clean out that closet and you get rid of all the old clothes that you haven't worn for decades sometimes and you get everything up off the floor, you realize how wonderful it is to have a closet that's all cleaned out, that works well, that when you pull something out, it's nice and fresh, it's not wrinkly. That's what the detox felt like to me. It felt like my body was this closet that was just all gummed up with decades worth of stuff that hadn't been cleaned out and once I got through the detox process it was like oh my gosh everything about my body feels differently it feels lighter it feels firmer it's less wobbly and bobbly and I'll tell you what I have a very average body in other words I have never been really thin I've never been really overweight I have been fluffier in my life than I am now and even right now I'm not thin or slim I'm average. In addition, I have never had one of those bodies that just looks completely firm and muscly and that sort of thing. I have a female body and it's built like a female. And I've always said I'm built for comfort, not speed. And that's the truth. But one thing I can say since I've done the detox is that my body is just less wobbly and bobbly. Does that make any sense? It feels firmer. The skin looks better. The tone and texture of my body looks better. Better. And the result for me is that I can't wait to do the next round of detox. That's how significant the difference has been in my body. The concrete things that I can tell you right away that I have noticed is, first of all, I lost maybe five or six pounds, not a whole lot of weight. And that absolutely wasn't the goal, but I have lost about five or six pounds. And I think that my face and just the tone and texture of my skin and my body looks a lot better. In addition, what I can say is that that area around my stomach, you know, as I've gotten older, maybe this has happened to you too, I have felt like my stomach area has just gotten a little bit wider and less curved in. One thing I can say now is that that poochy area in the front of my stomach, although it's not completely gone, it is diminished. And I just feel a little bit firmer and leaner overall. So that for me has definitely been a real plus. There are four major detox processes in the book. And what I thought I would do is just walk through each one and kind of tell you the tips and tricks that I've learned and a little bit about my experience or things to watch out for so it could be a little bit easier for you. What I did this first time around is I took my time going from one detox process to the next just because I was trying to be gentle with myself. So it took me about four months to do the whole process. I am just getting ready to start on the next go round on this and it's going to go a lot faster next time because I'm going to know what I'm doing. I'm going to be able to work through it more quickly and I think that my body is going to adapt much better because it's a little more cleaned out this time than it was the first time around. Penny actually does the detox process four times a year. I don't know if I'm going to do it that often. I'm thinking three times a year for me and we'll see how it goes from there. But one thing I can tell you is that based on my experience and my results from this first round, I will never not do this. The difference in my body is tremendous and I'm really excited about how I'm going to feel after the next round and the next round. The first detox process and probably one of the most important is the parasite cleanse. Anytime you talk to a naturopathic doctor or someone who's a little bit more on the holistic side of things, they'll say start with a parasite cleanse because we all have them and everyone needs to get rid of them. The thing with parasites is that they love the same nutritional ingredients that our body loves. Those parasites are actually eating up the nutrition that our body needs. So getting rid of those parasites is really critical. The detox program 
diagram in Penny's book for parasites is from the Dr. Clark store. Now I'm familiar with Dr. Clark's because I've used them in the past when I've come back from traveling to other countries. When I would detox, I would do the parasite cleanse through Dr. Clark's store. You buy this little set from the store and this is what you use. My experience with the parasite cleanse is that it's just it's super easy. All you do is you just take the capsules and it really cleans out your body on its own. One of the tips that I can give you, at least this was my experience, is that you know how when you take vitamins that sometimes you have to take them really slow or else you'll get nauseous if you take too many capsules at once? That wasn't my experience with the Dr. Clark's. They don't seem to give me that kind of nauseous, I just took a vitamin feeling. It was easy for me to take a lot of the capsules. And what I did, because you need to take several capsules all at once is that I just marked on the lids what I needed to take so I didn't have to keep looking every single day. The cool thing about the Parasite Cleanse is that you really only need to do the full cleanse one time a year and then you do it one day a week to keep your system cleaned out. And what they say on the Dr. Clark's website is that weekly use of the products is really important. It's almost more important than the full cleanse one time a year because that's what's going to keep the parasites down in your system. So this for me was super easy to do. It just takes a lot of counting of the capsules. The next detox process is the liver flush. And of all the detox processes, this was the only one that I had a little bit of a wobble with. In other words, it was one night that was pretty rough on me. What Penny has done in her book that I really, really appreciate is that she has very clearly outlined each process and what you're going to need for each process, which I found super helpful. So for the liver flush, you can see, and she does this with each process, she tells you exactly what you're going to need, which I found so helpful. One of the things I can say is that you're going to have to plan ahead because not all of these ingredients are available off of Amazon or in your local stores. You're going to have to order some of them. And some of them are from a company called Standard Process. Standard Process is available online and it's also available in a lot of chiropractic offices or naturopathic physicians offices, but this is not something that you can just pick up on your own. You actually have to go through a chiropractor or someone who is a representative for standard process in order to order them. What I did is on the standard process website, I'm pretty sure this is how it happened. They have a list of doctors in your area. You just put in your zip code and they tell you who the doctors are in your area that can approve your purchase of the products that you'll need for the detox. I went to a gal in my area and actually had an appointment with her, but she didn't require that. It was more or less they just wanted to touch base with you, ask you a couple of questions about your health situation, and find out what you're using the products for. Keep in mind that when you start the detox process, you're going to have to order from Standard Process, and you're going to have to connect up with someone in your area that will be able to approve your purchases on Standard Process. For me, the liver detox was absolutely easy. Easy. You just follow the directions in Penny's book. She lays everything out really clearly. One of the things that is very important to Penny's processes is a coffee enema. And if you're grossed out about that, I'm sorry, but we're going to talk about it for a few minutes. Getting comfortable with coffee enemas is something that's really going to be important to be able to move through all these detox processes. And I'll tell you what, they're not my favorite thing. I'm not very good at it, but I just keep sticking with it. And you know what? I've gotten a little better as time has gone on. What happened for me with the liver detox is that on the evening that the liver was going to actually dump out all those toxins, one of the things that Penny says is do a couple of coffee enemas so it actually pulls those toxins out of your body in a way that is not as disruptive. Well, what happened for me is that I had a malfunction on my end and wasn't able to do the coffee enemas. So my liver actually dumped all those toxins into my system and boy golly, I was 
pretty doggone unhappy for about an hour and a half or so. It was rough for me. However, I know the importance now of doing those coffee enemas on that particular evening when my liver is going to be dumping all those toxins, so I'm going to make sure that I'm really on it. In the book, she talks about doing a set of coffee enemas, and that means two coffee enemas. It's called a set of coffees. I'm going to do two sets of two because I know now how unfun it is to not be able to do that. So I'm going to be really careful to have everything ready to go for that culmination evening of the liver flush. So the full liver flush detox takes about five days. Most of the days you're just eating certain things and adding certain things to your diet. It's really not that difficult. It's just that one night when your liver actually flushes out those toxins. That's really the one that is different than the rest of the days. The next detox is the colon sweep. And for me, that one was kind of like super, super easy to do. It takes 10 full days to do the colon sweep, but most of that time you're just adding a few things to your diet or taking some probiotics. On days one through five, those are the active days of the colon sweep. And you take this intestinal bulking agent in order to clean out your colon. What this bulking agent does is it kind of acts like a little sponge. So you dissolve this into some apple juice. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. And this works like a sponge through your colon. In other words, it really expands and it goes through your colon, cleaning out all those little nooks and crannies and just really cleaning the whole colon area out. I did not have any discomfort when I was using this, probably because I eat a lot of high fiber foods anyway. I mostly eat fruits and vegetables and other very high fiber foods. So I really didn't notice any cramping or any stomach bloating when I used this. However, I really could tell that it was cleaning out all the little nooks and crannies. Particularly afterwards, I really felt like my stomach area was a lot less bloated and a lot less puffy. So for me, this was a pretty easy one that didn't create any discomfort for me. So the first five days you take this intestinal bulking agent, I'll have all the links listed down below. And then for the next five days, you just rebuild the bacterial flora by taking probiotics and eating a really, really good quality yogurt. The last detox process that I did is called the purge. And this is the one that Penny says that her skin just looks so incredibly pretty afterwards. And I can say I had that same experience. The purge was really easy for me in that it didn't create any discomfort at all in my body. And I actually really enjoyed it because you drink a big jug of of citrus juice all day long and I love citrus. So for me, it was really fun to be able to drink all that citrus juice. During the purge, you only eat fruits and vegetables. In other words, you eat fruit all morning long and then you just eat salads the rest of the day. You don't get hungry because you get to eat as much as you want and you're drinking all that juice in addition. So it really is easy to do. Now there is a couple of days where you're just drinking the juice. I did get a little bit hungry during those days, but I really didn't focus on it. I just got busy doing other things. The juice is lovely. I felt like it really did a great job of cleaning up my body, which it did. So for me, the purge was really kind of a fun thing to do. It felt like my body was really getting cleaned out. One thing I can say is that you're going to need a citrus juicer and a good one. I bought one off of Amazon and you know what? I wouldn't buy it again. It worked okay, but I realized it's not going to be a juicer that's going to last me for years and years and years. If I had it to do over again, I would buy an Omega juicer. They're really quality juicers. They've got a strong motor on them. They'll last you forever. So I'll probably end up buying an Omega juicer in the future to use for the purge part of the detox process. So these things right here are what I ended up getting for all of the detox processes. This is why you want to plan ahead because all of these things you do need to order and have on hand. The other detox process I want to talk about is one that I absolutely love. I've talked about it before. It is so yummy and so wonderful. And you can really get all the details on it in the book, Getting Well Natural. You all have this listed in the description box down below. The one that I absolutely love and I do all the time just because it feels feels so good is the castor oil and olive oil sweat bath. Oh 
my gosh, you guys, I've talked about it before. You know how much I love it. It is the yummiest thing to do, particularly if you live in a cold climate like I do, and it feels really good to slip into a hot bath. It's all laid out in the book, and really the whole point and purpose of the castor oil and olive oil sweat bath is to really get your body sweating out lots and lots of toxins. Just the cliff notes on it is that you make a mixture of castor oil and olive oil, blend it together, and you slather that all over your body. Then you slip into a bath that's just as hot as you could take. And I'll tell you what, that can get really, really hot. I always go in with a water bottle full of ice cold water to drink while I'm in the tub. Once you've been in the tub for about 15 to 20 minutes, and I rarely make it all the way to 20 minutes, I generally tap out around 15 minutes. You want to get out, pat yourself dry, leave as much of that castor oil olive oil mixture on your body as you can, put on some heavy sweat, and then go wrap yourself in a blanket burrito so that you can continue sweating. Penny does suggest that you put a knit hat on top of your head as well so that you're really, really keeping your body very warm and sweating out all those toxins. Then you go take a shower and scrub your skin really well. It just feels so lovely and so wonderful. It's one of the most enjoyable things that I do. I absolutely love it. I think those are all the tips and tricks and experiences that I've learned from my first go around on this whole detox process. I'm actually going to start on the second round, probably the middle of next week, and I'll keep you guys posted on that as well. If you have any questions about it, the book really does cover everything so beautifully. She does a really terrific job of laying out all the details and step-by-step -step instructions all the way through, so I can highly recommend that. This was so fun, you guys. I love hanging out in my living room with you. I want to thank you for joining me for this little cozy day together. I hope you found it fun, useful, and helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit me up in the comments down below about your experiences with detox. If you're going to do the program, any questions you have, I'll do my best to answer them. If you're new here, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. You guys know I get so tickled when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me, particularly to Today. This was so cozy and so fun for me. I appreciate you stopping by and I appreciate you. Again, I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50 where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. Make it a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.